So here we go. It is going to be Bangladesh who get us going. And it's an interesting move from Aki. Remember, they've got some superb wing backs. Bangladeshis. Shamsunaha and Moshumi on either side. You see, they pushed Aki up from the centre back position to just drop that ball in there. And straight away, it shows intent to want to attack, yep. go forwards. And that's a positive start from Bangladesh. First test here, and it's a mistake, an easy finish here. Tolanova with a terrible mistake, and it's the opening goal for Bangladesh early, early on. This is now the quickest goal, and Sarjida hits it into an empty net. 29 seconds on the clock, and the girl that was the man of the match in the last game she played makes an absolute terrible error. Takes her eye off the ball, jumps over it, doesn't take it cleanly or properly. And the simplest of tap-ins from Shandida. 29 seconds into the game. Well, we've had fast starts, haven't we, Shazad? <laughs> yes. But that is just unbelievable. But attacking intent shown from the initial ball played in there. We saw Kyrgyzstan just clear their lines and try and get set. But because they went to attack, they've been rewarded straight away. Brilliant stuff. And uh, well, I'm afraid we've seen a number of big goalkeeping errors in this tournament and in fact Kyrgyzstan did profit from a couple in their last game and now they're at the end of their own there's Moshimi and then the goal scorer Sanjida Kyrgyzstan never easy when you concede so early oops Sanjida just loses her footing here's Dalinga but she dallies a little too long on the ball, Dallinger. <laughs> Had to be said. I like that. <laughs> Tell you that, well one back from shot now. Tracking back from the wrong side. Well, it takes a, a few players there to stop Shamsunaha. What a great start that is from Bangladesh. We had the quickest goal yesterday, we thought, from Pair, and 1 minute 29. This is a whole minute quicker now. Flag has gone up. When the throw-in was taken, the ball was laid back off. She was in an offside position because Kyrgyzstan just squeezed up a bit. It's not a foul, even though that was a foul there. A little stamp more than anything. Amazon over, just catching up. I think we could be in for goals today. I know that after the game, the last match day for Bangladesh, they had a recovery session the next day, and they have been working incredibly hard on the training pitch and the training field on the finishing. But if, if anyone has been turning around and having a go at this team, how can you have a go at a team that within the first 30 seconds shows that much intent to go and win a game yeah. that early in the match? Ridiculous. Yeah, they've absolutely shown determination, haven't they? Right from the kickoff, literally from the kickoff. You, you asked me the question, Sazad, what do you do mentally as a player? That's what you, you do. do. You let the football do the talking, and that's exactly what the girls have done today. Well done, Bangladesh. What a great statement of intent that was. As the ball comes across, Rupna, as she is wont to do, very quick to advise. Oh, lovely turn from Samshunaha. This is the kind of confidence that they've exhibited right from the very start of this tournament. And it grows from the keeper, showing a confidence there. Slightly under hit with the pass, but just got away with it. And that uh, little midfield pivot, Maria and Monica. So good for Bangladesh. Look, they're trying to make themselves available in the holes, and they're getting the ball fed to them, and now it's easier to pick themselves through this defence. Here's Samshunaha. Now coming forward, Krishna, Shopna. The crowd roaring every time they come into that final third. We get a free kick here. Yeah, handball, I think. Challenge coming there from Uzbek. Just got it out of her feet. Now it did hit the arm, it stopped the opportunity for the ball to go into the box. Remember, Kelishova conceded two penalties in that last game against the UA, one of them was a handball and they've moved her out. She was a centre-back, she's now 
to more of a still a centre back, but on the other side, she was having problems though that last time round. Askarova has gone into a fullback position now. So free kick here for Bangladesh. Two little dynamos in midfield standing over it. Well, why not go after the keeper if you've seen her flap a little bit? Here's Dallinger. An important touch on. Very nicely done by Maria. Ata Rupna. Now, one thing we, we were talking about, Paul, is that she plays that sweeper keeper role so well and she doesn't want to just come out and clear it. She wants to play, they want to play from the back, don't they? Yeah, properly. They want to play properly from the back as well. It's a nice ball put over the top, but not offside. Shopner goes in hard. Oh. I mean, that's uncompromising, isn't it? Well, both players committed, you've got to say that, but Shopner did just catch it. There's no doubt about that, and just getting a little ticking off as well. But it's a high foot initially as well that came in there from Tok Tobolatova. However, Shopner, yeah, was a, a little bit overzealous. This is that opportunity earlier. Well, that's a better punch from the keeper. I think she'll feel a little bit happier with that. What, than not catching the ball and stopping going through her legs? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She got that one very, very wrong, unfortunately. And there's been a few of, the, of like that. Handling skills need to be worked on. Shamsunaha. Back to Aki. And here is Nargis. Speculative attempt, not a problem at all. That was a little bit loose then from Monica. Maria had picked the ball up and just fed it to her, made an angle. She tried to play it back, but it was undercooked. Done well with the goal kick. That's not something we've seen too often in this tournament. Look at that. Determination and pace again by Shopner. Done really well. Was there a little push on her? Yes, there was. Be a free kick. She, as always, proving a threat. Yeah, ever willing as well to run the channels and has the pace. Is that a card for you, Paul? Um, nah. It's not. There's no real malice or intent there. It, she has caught her. It is a free kick. I, I do get that, but I'm not having that. That's uh, a yellow card, in my opinion. Right now, I think she. These kind of situations, she's just going to be a little nervous. They're going to put this short this time. Interesting. Again, the keeper doesn't get a good connection. They're putting that ball close enough that it has a flag gone up. 